Hi guys, I'm Katie. I'm Steve. And we're the All Electric family. Today we're gonna show you the different types of chargers because there are quite a few different types of chargers out there. And knowing which ones you should use and which ones you shouldn't use and in which situations can be a little bit intimidating, especially if you're new to the EV world. So we wanted to take you, show you the different types of chargers and kind of show you like how fast they would be, um, what situations you would use them for and that type of a thing. You don't want to pull up to a Tesla supercharger with a, you know, Rivian or a Ford and then not be able to use it. So we're going to just break that all down. So I can't always guarantee that, you know, you're going to have this cool stuff when you find a, a charger, but this one is at a cool location. It's a little putt putt here in town that's uh, dinosaur themed, as you can tell, but they have electric charging. And this is a J1772. So this is the J1772 connector. So this is gonna be like your travel charger that you get with your Rivian or your Lightning or a whole wide variety, basically anything besides a Tesla. This one is gonna offer a pretty low charge rate. So this is gonna be more like a destination type charger. So we're someplace where you could charge overnight or for a longer period of time or just to top off while you're shopping or eating or playing putt-putt. Okay, so let's plug in and see what kind of a rate we get with this charger. And we'll wait for it to go green. It's going green, so let's go see what we get. So it looks like we're getting about 14 miles an hour or eight kilowatts right now. On the charger itself, it says we're getting about between 39.9 and 40.1 amps. Again, this is gonna be a long charge. To go to full, even from 38%, you know, we're looking at hours. This is saying it would take longer than a day and it's going down as it calculates it. Um, but still, it's gonna be several hours for you to get a full charge. This is comparable to a 1450 Nemo plug like we have at home. Okay. This is exactly like that. It's 42 a.m. These are nice because you find them around a place, like places like restaurants. Um, oftentimes, this will be the type of charger that you would have at the like airport or something like that. So these are, like we said, not super fast, but they're nice to kind of top off while you're eating dinner or doing whatever. So yeah, and, if you're playing putt putt for a couple hours, I mean, you may get, gain 10, 15 percent. So. Yeah. So it's nice to just have them around and oftentimes chargers like this um, will be free. They'll be complimentary. And so that's also super, super nice because you can, you know, get a little bit of a boost for no cost. As you can see now, it's looking like it would take about five, five hours and 40 minutes. So five and a half hours ish to, to charge here. Up to 70 percent from 40 percent. So, you know, if we bump it up to 85 percent, which is where you're going to be charging to you know, not necessarily daily, but to get just a little bit farther, it would take about eight hours. One little piece of advice or whatever you want to call it is, especially at places like this, be sure to take care of the equipment and use it well and put it away nicely when you're done so that people will continue to offer this for EV owners. All right, to the next charger. So the next type of charger we're going to talk about is the Tesla supercharger. And the Tesla supercharger, as it sits today, can only be used by a Tesla. So these are fast chargers. This one is probably around 150 kilowatts. There are version, so this is a version two. There are version threes that will do up to the 250 kilowatts, um, but they're not as common as these version twos that are not quite as fast, but they are still fast. You're still gonna charge your car in probably half hour, 45 minutes, and you'll be on your way. And that's a pretty long charge. You're, you know, you're 15 to 20% up to your 80%. So these are fast chargers, but unfortunately we can't plug into it and show you any of the data because we can't use it on the Rivian. So these are the type of chargers that you're gonna use when you're on a long trip to get a quick charge and head down the road. Just remember, don't come to a, super, a Tesla supercharger if you're driving a vehicle that is not a Tesla. You'll want to go to an Electrify America station or a DC fast charger that is on the CCS network if you have anything that's not a Tesla. 
or you can go to those too if you also have a Tesla. This is a Tesla destination charger, not to be confused with a Tesla supercharger. Tesla destination chargers can be used by any vehicle as long as you have the appropriate adapter. So you would need this Tesla to J1772 adapter that it's linked in our, uh, we'll put it down in the description below. So you put on your adapter and then Again, this is gonna be a slower charge. So this is gonna be probably pretty comparable to your J1772. You're gonna to wanna to charge overnight, top off while you're at a restaurant or you know out and about, but usually again, complimentary and you can just charge while you're doing stuff. So let's see what we get here. Well, this is a bigger boy. Oh yeah, saying 48 amps. It's kind of ramping up here. It should get to about 11 kilowatts. So on this one, we're getting about 11 kilowatts and it's saying for that about, you know, 40-ish percent to 85, it would take us five hours and 42 minutes. On the actual 40 amp, it was gonna take eight hours. This one is gonna take five hours. So a little bit quicker. The biggest thing to remember on these J1772s and the Tesla destination chargers is that there can be differences on them based on what the charger can supply. All right, so this is technically a DC fast charger, but it's a slower one. So this one is 62 kilowatts. You can find them in 50 kilowatts. You can find them in 100 kilowatts. The 62 and the 50 kilowatt chargers are going to be a little bit slower. You can use them on road trips, but you're going to be sitting here a little bit longer than if you were at like a 100, 150, or 350 kilowatt DC fast charger. These are made by all kinds of different brands, run by all kinds of different companies, so you can find a whole variety of these all over the place. So where you can get a charge on a, you know, 350 or 150 kilowatt DC fast charger in, you know, 30 to minutes to an hour, on this one you're looking at probably more like an hour and a half to two hours for a charge. So you can still use them on trips, but it's just not gonna be as quick. You can use with any type of electric vehicle, including a Tesla, if you have the appropriate adapters. The other thing that's nice to mention is that this charger is at a grocery store. So you could possibly plug in, go get your groceries and come out to a full charge, depending on how long it takes you. Clicking on. As them yes. All right, so ramp it up with 28 kilowatts right now. It's calculating our time, so we'll give it a second to sink in. Now this type of charger is going to cost. There's going to be a cost associated with the DC fast chargers. You're not going to find this complimentary unless the company or whatever's doing a promotion currently. Or your car. Your car is doing a promotion. So it's 61.9 kilowatts right now, and it's saying we got 50 minutes remaining to the... That would be to the 80%? Is that what the car no is set to? I don't know. It's just whatever it's selling on there. So we're going to hop in the car and see what it's getting. All right, so we're pulling 63 kilowatts. Looks like it's going to take us an hour to get from that, again, roughly 40% up to 85%. So like we said, a little bit slower, but you're still going to get a decent charge on these 60, 50 and 60 kilowatt DC fast chargers. As far as price goes, it's going to depend on your location, how much this charge will cost you. If you're in a state that you can charge by the kilowatt hour, it's going to be different than a state that has to charge by the minute. And sometimes locations set prices and all kinds of stuff. So there's a lot of factors when it comes into how much it's going to cost you. One thing to note on these chargers is that you're going to have to have the app that goes along with the charger or sometimes they'll have a swipe card to pay for the charge. But a lot of the times you're gonna to have to download the app that's associated with that particular charger. You can't just use your phone or your car app or whatnot. It's gotta be the app that belongs to the station or they'll have a little payment down here and you can use a credit card. This is a DC fast charger, like a real DC fast charger. So these are gonna be 150 kilowatts or 350 kilowatts. So you're gonna get your quickest charge. These are where you want to go for road trips. Any electric vehicle, including Tesla's, with the appropriate adapter, can charge at a DC fast charger like this one. So it is going to cost you money, but you're going to be able to charge in a half hour, 45 minutes, and be on your way for most of your charging needs. These are great for road trips, and you probably would charge before you were even done getting dinner. All right, let's see what we're getting on this one. 
All right, so this one is ramping up. As you can see, we're cranking up here. We're on a 350 kilowatt charger on this one. As you can see right now, it's telling us we will end in 13 minutes. So we're at 193 kilowatts. So we are cranking through the juice right now. From 40% to 85%, it's gonna take us 17 minutes, maybe a little less, maybe a little more, short period of time. These are great chargers for road trips. So those are the different types of chargers that you can use while you're out and about. Let us know in the comments if you have any questions or you're wondering anything else about EVs. We love to answer questions and help people out. And we'll also be doing a video on different types of home chargers because we know that's confusing as well. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. We've got a lot more adventures coming your way and we'll see you guys in the next video.